Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review from a bloody cold uh, beer room. And it's only 8 degrees, I think it's the rain, it just makes you feel cold. Right then, today from the Uprising Craft Brewery, uh, caught by the fuzz. Eh? A lot of people have been caught by the fuzz in the town. Um, a peachy pale ale. Brewed at the Windsor and Eaton Brewery in Windsor in Berkshire. Oh, very posh. 5%? Don't know where I got it from. I presume it might have been uh, Morrison's Beer Festival. That's a peachy pale ale. That sounds interesting. Uh, the only other peachy... Oh, fuck me, it's pissing out. Oh, look at me. Fucking controller, you bastard. My fucking keyboard. Oh, you shitbag. I wasn't expecting that. Never fucker. So that sums up my day. So, a little story. We had a water leak the other week. Um, yeah, shit bag. That doesn't say anything about it being a gusher. Okay, now. We had a water leak the other week. Um, fixed the water leak ourselves. Um, there was asbestos involved. Waiting for the, that to be sorted out. And today, this has been like months now. Today, plasters are supposed to come around today. One bloke shows up. One bloke, I thought, that's strange. I'm at work at this moment in time. Wife's telling me, oh, one bloke showed up. I thought, why has only one bloke showed up to do plastering a ceiling? Because you have to put the board up. It's much easier to have two of you holding the boards and then you bang, 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 you know, if you're using them, if you're doing it the old fashioned way, screw up, you know, whatever. So the poor bloke's on it all down his tod. Phone's up. Oh, can't come back tomorrow. Booked up. So my wife has gone ballistic. So, hmm. plenty on the floor. Uh, there's an amber bit of uh, liquid at the bottom and the biggest bloody head. Look at the state of that head. Ooh, peachy aroma. Now, as I was saying before the exploding bottle, crisis of 2019. I had one last year, it was about this time last year when one exploded and pissed all over my room. And now again. Um, as for peach beers, softly lit, sharply dressed, raise your voice, don't get caught out, continue the uprising. Soft fruit, sharp taste, refreshing pale ale with a giant peach it, complemented by subtle notes of spice and a of a bottle that pisses out as soon as you open it. Now I didn't shake it so, and it's got a year date on it so well, I don't know but yeah massive peach aroma. Golden Glory by Badger was the last one with a peachy aroma on the beer side. Jubel on the lager side cut with peach is another awesome peach flavour. Mmm Big peach it. Definite citrus notes in there also. Once I get to the once I get to the uh look at that still taking ages. <clears throat> so letters of compl that complaint have just been sent out. So uh, I'm gonna have fun. You know, sometimes I think, you know, as a country some people complain too much about rubbish, but you know when you really are being treated like prats, uh, there's a time, you know, to complain about shoddy service. I mean, we tried to phone the people back earlier and the management wouldn't answer the phone, you know. And uh, this poor bloke, he'd been booked on two jobs today, even though this one job was a 15 hour job. Oh, I tell you what, some firms are ever, they, you know, they do what they do. I mean, I've seen it in gardening where firms, you know, who you work for and that, um, you know, you get there, you're the worker, and you get there and they say, oh, and you got that and you got this, and you're thinking, oh, I've just been told to come into this, mate. I don't know nothing about any of that. 
and you know bad management. I mean, sometimes good staff can pull through. You know, a lot of the times I've been able to pull stuff through simply by working like an absolute nutter and saving their graces. But um, you know, oh dear, the raggy temper, flipping heck. And um, if they think they've got away with it, my wife in the morning is going to... She, she doesn't get stressed like I do. I get stressed, you know. I have anxiety. But you know when you get... When, when certain buttons are pushed, the anxiety just sits in the background. The angry side comes out, you know, and that's, you know, where I am. And I really didn't need this bowl to do that just then. All having my PS2 controller. I've only got one controller as well. So, yeah, anyway, back to this fella. Just dry my controller off. I do actually want to play that at some stage. So, yeah, um, quite a nice P chip to it, fair, in fair play. I did, I'm not sure if this is a bottle conditioned. It doesn't say bottle conditioned. If it had been bottle conditioned, I might have expected a bit of a gusher. My poor keyboard. I shall be tagging you in the uprising up, up brewery. Yeah. <laughs> right, caught by the fuzz, eh? I was caught by the bloody froth. Oh. Very big peach on the nose. Not so much on the taste. The peach, you know, goes down a bit on the taste. Now, that might be a great thing for a lot of people. You know, they, they want the peach, but they don't want it intense. So Badger Golden Glory, if you know Badger Golden Glory, I would say that's the, the most intense of the peachy flavoured, uh, just for comparison anyway. Uh, followed by Jubel's Cut with Peach, Cut Beer, Lager Cut with Peach. This fella's sitting about third on the, on the peachy scale, shall we say doesn't mean it's anything bad, it just means that the others have got that bit more peach in them. This is a bit more of a, a beer with peach, you know, instead of just being a peach beer. But it, still, nice to have it. I'm, I'm, glad I've, I'm glad I spotted it. So you, you get the peach, and then you get pine as well. Definite pine. Um, resonating with it. Refreshing, um, definitely appeal to the female generation, definitely. And f people who like fruity beers, really. For me, the day, you know, it's been, it's chucked it down for most of the day today. And uh, um, I didn't tell anybody at work, but uh, today was a day 14 years ago that me, um, my granny died, you know, she passed away, and uh, you know, some things res you know, hit you hard when only a few days before she died, we was round her ass sitting on the set, talking to her, you know, and um, there was no sign of anything wrong, you know, and I think she had some dickhead neighbours uh, upstairs, she lived in the maisonette, so like she's on the ground floor, idiots above. And they were apparently they were arsehole neighbours. And if I'd have known she was suffering so much, you know, I'd have gone up and uh, had words. And I'm sure a lot of my family would have done, you know, as well. You know, give a little bit of powder, a bit of the old frightening powder, and just told them to bat bottle it up or face consequences. But, um, you know, obviously she passed away. Obviously got too much to her. You know, I think there's a time with all of us where... You know, when there's a time to, you know, that you've just had so much that you just want to go, you know. Maybe there's a door, you know. Heaven, is there in heaven? God, I'd, I'd hope so, you know. Is there a door there which opens, and you know, at the time when, the right time. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of people who life took away from them at the wrong time. But is that door open at the right time for someone to say, come on, you've had your time, let's go. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Does make you wonder. But anyway, cheers, Graham. 
So, breaking it down. Amber pour, ridiculously massive head on it, massive carbonation and lacing. You don't get that without that. Um, is it bottle conditioned? I don't know, but it bloody had it in half gush. All over my PS2 controller, all over my keyboard. Uh, although I don't really use that computer anymore now because I, I tried to do uh, reviews on streamed reviews, but uh, webcams are crap. You know, never, nowhere near as good as your phones. Um, big peach hit on the flay, on the aroma. Peach on the taste with pine, bit of citrus. Um, overall, a nice beer. Out of five, hmm, I'm going to give it a 4.3 out of five. Not quite as high as I probably would have expected to give it. But um, still a very nice beer. And yeah, definitely some sediment in the bottom. I've just seen the bottom of the glass. There's, yeah, if you look there, you can see that bit of thing in the bottom. So definitely sediment in the bottom. Mm. Not sure if it's meant to be uh, bottle conditioned or, you know, I got the unlucky bottle. Stuff happens, doesn't it? <sighs> right, back to the ass. Hopefully my wife's calmed down and, uh, you know. And then they said they're coming back on the 20th of December to do the plastering. I'm thinking, you're taking the piss. You know, it's Christmas. I've normally got my Christmas tree up in my front room by now. Somebody's getting shit tomorrow no doubt thanks for watching see you soon